You have ten. Ten and twelve. You. Okay. I don't want to lose a little bit this year. I don't know if we really play. Maybe we play Whitehall. Yeah, I've got a nine year old and an eleven year old. Eleven year old is a girl. Oh, so it's softball. Yep, and then my nine year old is a boy. He's in minor boys. Oh, yeah, he would be because he just moved up to minor boys this year. And then, um, I saw they have a game out at the healthcare center, but he's on, they divided his team up into like three teams, but they have two teams playing at a time to, to mix it up. Yeah. We got so, down there 12 years ago. Yeah. So it's not, then that's just keep track of where they're playing? It's like which pod they're playing? Like, yeah. Do you have to be there? He, our, our coach made up a really easy to follow schedule. Sure. I think the one they're playing at the healthcare center, though, he's not actually on that night. But maybe we'll play at some point. Because he only put, it's funny, other coaches put together who we're playing. He only put, like, what nights we're playing and where. But no, not what team we're playing. Well, he has to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, 12 of you team, we have four pods. So it could be A, B, C, D, whatever. Yeah, we yeah. But I guess it's kind of nice because last year they only divided his team into two and they had like team A and team B and they were going to a small private school my kids were but I guess all the kids at public school started getting a real nasty rivalry towards each other. So one of the parents was telling me so she said she was glad that he mixed it up where they all have to learn to play with each other this year. Yeah. I have to sit in this chair. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. I can't sit on those socks. Oh, <laughs> we need to get you a footstool too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I use my cane. Your cane works pretty well. Did someone make it for you? Um, it actually belonged to my sister-in-law who had had a few strokes. She passed away. Her nephew yeah. said, "I think you need this." Well, it's just it's a it's a more fun cane than just the standard metal. I know it reminds me of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Chris? Um, I'm going to be Make sure they're good to go and we'll go for it. Okay. Well, it is 9.03 on Thursday, May 19th, and I will call the May Personnel and Bargaining Committee meeting to order. Uh, certify that open meeting law requirements have been met with proper posting. Do we have a, we have a 13 item agenda? Move Looking. to adopt. I'll second. Okay, mo motion made and seconded to adopt the agenda. All in favor? Signify. Aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Motion carried. Uh, move on to item four, approval of meeting. A minutes from previous me meeting on 421. Coffee? I do. <laughs> you want to run a quick trip for me? Move oh, to really? approve. Okay, uh, move to approve from Ron. Second. Okay, we got a, we got a second. <laughs> All right. Uh, any, any further discussion? If not, uh, all in favor of approving minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Uh, item six, we will move into our hours of work policy for discussion, possible action. What about five? Oh, I did miss that one, I, I apologize. I I crossed it off too soon. <laughs> I'm too efficient. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Program coordinator position employment status from 40 hours to 24 hours per week for uh, discussion, possible action. So yeah, we, we talked about this last month at the UW Extension meeting. Um, the position had been uh, 24 hours, three days a week um, for about the past 12 years. And we feel that, I talked with my staff, um, and we feel that we could probably go back to that um, after that position being a full time for about a year. Um, I, I think technology has really helped us um, improve efficiency. Um, the workload is definitely manageable for three days a week. Um, let's see, what else did I have in here? Um, 
and then it, I don't believe it'll impact any future meeting coverage. Um, we still have our full-time production coordinator that will cover the majority of our meetings. Um, so, yeah, just kind of repeating basically what we said in our UW Extension meeting. I, I don't know if everyone got the packet, so hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vote for approval. I'll second. Okay, a motion made and second. Any further discussion? Uh, Comments could, from? Could we have an effective date on that? Kevin, when were you thinking? So I, I was thinking um, probably, I would like to do it probably like August 1st. And you're going to have an intern this summer too, correct? Oh, uh, we're going to try to, yes. Try. Okay. Okay. Very good. Is it a, can I just ask one more question? Absolutely. Sure. Um, are your internships, do you use like UW Eau Claire or um, we like didn't, media people? We didn't have an intern last year or the past two years. Okay. Um, so that was something that John Kelly, when he was here, he did. Um, but I would, I would like to get back to it and kind of explore the process as we're kind of in the middle of May now, so I want to kind of get on that really quickly. Yeah. And, uh, well, I know, I know from my past experience teaching at UW-Eau Claire, they're always looking for sites for interns okay. in all departments, so. Yeah, definitely, if they're willing to make the drive down here, yeah. I'm definitely willing to have them. And I, I was in college too at one point, so I needed internships, and I definitely understand that uh, it helps <laughs> and yeah. okay. people experience, so. Okay, great. Okay, so we have a motion uh, and second on the floor. Uh, any further discussion? If not, we'll call it to a vote. All in favor of uh, changing the program coordinator employment status from 40 hours to 24 hours per week, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Now we are on to our hours of work policy. All right, so there was a handout in your packets in regards to updates to our hours of work policy. So a little bit of history on this one. Um, recently there was some discussion at the law enforcement committee meeting um, and they had asked myself to come up with a county-wide policy for adjusted work schedule. Um, so instead of creating a standalone adjusted work schedule policy after doing a little bit of research with other counties, um, many, many counties are encompassing their adjusted work schedule into their hours of work policy. So if you look previously, our hours of work policy was just a few sentences long, so um, updated that quite a bit with adding that adjusted work schedule and as well as breaking out um, just a few more details on our break schedules for employees as well. So if we look a little closer for those um, watching at home, the adjusted work schedule policy will consist of um, more of a formalized process right now. Many departments have a uh, department policy, a standalone policy for just their department, this would encompass more of a countywide policy. And it's really going to leave it up to the department and the employee to focus on what's going to work best for the department and again in the employee. So uh, a request form will be um, created if this policy does go through. It will be need, need to be renewed annually as well by the employee and the department head. Um, in the case, if a department head was wanting to work on an adjusted work schedule, they would need to go to their oversight committee for approval for that. Um, otherwise, is there any questions? I won't read this to you verbatim since you've already seen it, but. Any questions from the committee? Mm -mm. I read through it and I didn't see anything that was too alarming no, to sense. me, so. Yep, pretty logical. If not, so what, what are the committee's wishes? I would make a motion to approve the change in the policy of work hours to further describe what an adjusted work schedule means. Okay. It's hard to believe we just had one sentence. Yeah, yeah, it's not one anymore. Uh, okay, we have a motion from Nutter, looking for a second. Second. Second, John Johnson. Um, any further discussion? We'll call for a vote. All in favor of uh, amending our hours of work policy. That'd be the right way to do it. Yep. Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. We have updated our policy. Okay, next we'll move on to our vacation policy language correction. Discussion, possible action. All right, I have Stacy from payroll here to give a little history. Um, 
So we actually just updated our vacation policy, if you all recall, a couple months ago. Um, however, after doing a little bit more looking into it, there was a few discrepancies that we just wanted to um, clarify, for lack of a better word. So after speaking with payroll, um, I wasn't a huge fan of how the wording was laid out in the new policy, um, just to clarify. So we added a new sentence on to the, the main header of vacation that will state, after completing the year ending for the tier structure you were on, you will move to the next accrual rate to receive the full allotment of days by the time you hit your next anniversary date. So what this means is we would change the one to four year tier structure to two to four. So this won't affect employees. Um, it's more or less just to clarify. So what that means is after your first year of employment, you're going to bump up to the next tier structure. So by the time you hit your two year anniversary, you will, will have already accrued 15 days. Same with the next uh, tier structure. So once you hit your four, four year anniversary, you're actually gonna move up to the next accrual structure. So by your five year anniversary, you've accrued 18 days. So that's the only clarification piece we added there. Stacy, do you have anything further to add on that? No, uh, Kristen and I had some discussion because my system is set up to the fact that um, after so many years, that's when you get the increase. So that's why we made the kind of ending adjustment in the language in there, just to better clarify and make that second tier say two to four years mm -hmm. since the first year is already yeah. encompassed in the yeah. just wording. The, the one to four made it a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Too so much we're interpretation. Right. On the same page is mostly <laughs> what it is. Yes. Yep. Yep. Very good. Um, the only other piece to the policy that we needed to clarify, so previously jailers were classified at the 12-hour day rate, um, which they are currently working a 12-hour day. However, they are accruing at an eight-and-a-half-hour day, same as our public safety dispatchers. Um, reason being, they qualify for what we call Kelly hours. Um, and Stacy, you can maybe do a better job of explaining the Kelly hours piece. <laughs> Uh, I'm still not clear on it the best. <laughs> so they work the 12-hour schedules, but when they hit that 40, it's supposed to be an eight-hour day, but a lot of times they have to work the 12, so that's overtime for them. Those four are overtime. So really, they should be on the eight tier, is my understanding, because that, that regular hours bumps to overtime hours, qualifying them in a different category. So that's why they were put at that smaller accrual rate I guess and from what was explained um, to us from the sheriff's department is this is something that the previous sheriff had worked out yep, um, with yep. staff just to try and reduce overtime yeah costs. it's been in place for a long <coughs> time when I looked back so okay. correct so just to clarify that the jailer piece would be removed from 12 hours and they'd be moved to the eight and a half hour accrual okay other than that the structure would stay exactly the same okay all right any uh, discussion from the group if not, entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve. Motion approved, Johnson. Fritch second. And uh, all in favor of approving the updated vacation language correction, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Kellen, while I'm here, can I talk about stubs quick? Our direct deposit stubs, we currently get um, pre printed stock. And I looked back, and in 2018, we ordered, and it was $37 a month for me to run. Um, we are looking into having Avenue, our computer system, do an overlay into my system so I can print those stubs on plain paper, which will cost me $4.30 a month. The upfront cost is approximately $1,300. I'm waiting for a quote right now, but this is something exec finance um, had asked about looking to save money and trying to process. So we're going through it, but since you guys are the payroll people, I wanted you to know, or the employee people, I wanted you to know that I'm working on it sure. <laughs> okay. before yeah. I run out of stubs. No, it seems logical. So, yep, I like it. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Stacy. Uh, next item, excuse me, <clears throat> Human Resources Department update. All right, so you all received the turnover report in your packets. To date, we have filled 22 full-time positions. Um, we have an update to the limited term. We filled six limited term positions and three part-time fill-in positions for the year. 
Um, for our department, we actually have our HR generalist interviews right after this meeting. So we'll be hopefully okay. getting a new candidate in within the next couple weeks. That was fast. Yes. Good. <laughs> six limited term, you said? Yep, six instead of five. We filled okay. one There's yesterday. one trucker, okay. Yep. Since I'm new, can you tell me what the limited term yeah, is? Yeah, that's a great question. So limited term positions are usually positions that work anywhere, I'd say, from four to six months, and then they're terminated. So for example, majority of our flaggers out at the highway department, our truck drivers, oh, okay. our summer, um, our parks people mm -hmm. um, are all limited sense. terms. Okay. So usually between February and March, recruitment is pretty heavy with all of those limited terms for us. So yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, any events worth noting? We do. So uh, Monday, May 23rd, we are going live with our NeoGov recruiting platform. Oh. So it's been a rough <coughs> couple of months trying to get that off the ground, but we are almost there. We can see it. So I'm pr pretty excited about that to get that uh, finalized. The other event we have coming up, I will be at the Spring Wisconsin Association. Oh. Go because ahead, Heather's new, that means <coughs> all of our applications for positions will be done online instead of paper. Oh, sure. Yes. So it should and simplify we've been things quite, quite a bit. Waiting for this for a while. <laughs> yes. And then part two of it will be our employee evaluations, correct? Yep. We Through have the system. We've got our evaluations, recruitment, and then all of our safety training videos, and um, there's leadership training videos. There's a whole host of. Because we were kind of behind. Almost everybody in the world does <laughs> online <laughs> applications, so we're getting there. Well, you get an older applicant that really needs you to print it out. So yes. Yeah. That will probably happen. There, there will still yeah. be that option. And that's okay. <laughs> yep. Um, totally good. If you have ink in your printer. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> All right, I will be attending the Spring Wisconsin Association of County Personnel Directors Conference next week, uh, Thursday and Friday in Elkhart, Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. So it'd be a little bit of a hike, but get to see all the personnel directors in the state of Wisconsin at that conference, so that'll be good. Um, and the only other event that we have coming up will be in June. So our June meeting will potentially be quite lengthy. Um, so every June 1st are our reclassification requests that are due to this committee for review. So those are due to my office by June 1st. And then just a reminder, I send them off to Carlson Detman for review, and then they'll make a recommendation if that is appropriate or not. And then that'll come before this committee to make. Yes, go ahead, Jenny. Um, I was just curious if you got any feedback from the employee <coughs> recognition day. I mean, I was there, and I thought it was really, yeah. really good. And Have you heard anything? Um, I heard several um, several people came up and said that they thought it was really nice okay. to have that get together, the potluck, and it was just kind of a nice way to touch base with other departments that they don't get to see people very often. Right. So, yeah, yeah, I thought it was great. It was great well turnout. Received. Yeah. yeah, lots of good food. Okay, and good. Thank you for getting that That's off awesome. the ground. Yes. You are welcome. Okay. Other than that, that's all we had for events. Thank you. It sounds good. And next item on our agenda then is potential closed session. I'll second. Okay, motion made and uh, in favor to go into closed session. Um, we'll do a voice vote. Uh, Fritch? Yes. Austin? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Nutter, Nutter yes. yes. Okay. We will give the TV station a few moments to shut down. <laughs> 